everyone, so today as you can see that I am in a different uh, setting, that, um, setting area that is because I thought it would be a nice idea to just uh, change my focus a little because normally I film in my room but today I thought nope I will film in the living room um, because it's just a nice area um, good lighting as well so I thought yeah why not so today I will be doing talking about another film review um, and this is I will be discussing about what my thoughts are about the new Spider-Man Homecoming film. Oh my god, that film was just phenomenal. Um, it was just brilliant. The whole cast were incredible in it. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I thought the locations were great, the setting, the costumes, the soundtrack, special effects. The, honestly, the whole cast just did an incredible job. I really, really enjoyed it. Now, I will be discussing about what my thoughts are about the film and then everyone else will be able to comment down below what they thought about the film as well. So, let's start with um, all the good things because there's nothing really bad about the film because honestly I just loved it. So, what I really enjoyed about this film is I loved it how it was set in a younger... Um, generation so uh, Peter Parker obviously he goes to school and he's kind of got to learn about he's learning about how to keep his identity a secret um, and having a normal life and that's really nice that's what I really liked about it um, and yes yeah, so that that was pretty much that's one thing I really liked about it um, I mean I thought Tom Holland, honestly, he did an incredible job. He really did, and I'm really glad that he's playing Spider-Man because I, when I saw him in the in the Captain America um, film that he did, I really enjoyed it. I thought, yeah, he's going to be a good one, and actually, I'm glad that he he is because he's doing such an incredible job recently, um, and I really liked that. I also liked um, Zendaya. I thought her character as Michelle was really good. Um, because it's something different to what I normally watch her in. Uh, normally I watch her on um, Disney Channel and I think it's really good that she's finally been able to work on her very first film and to do something other than Disney. So that was really good to see and it was quite good actually. It was, um, I thought her character was perfect um, and also I'm really glad that Robin, Robert Downing Jr. is in it as well because um, he was obviously he was the one that um, brought Spider-Man into um, the sort of Marvel universe, as they call it. But now I'm really glad that um, he was in the film as well. I've finally caught up <laughs> with the Iron Man films um, because he well. I've been able to watch uh, Captain America and Thor and, I've, and other people, but with Iron Man, I haven't been able to up until now, and I am really glad that I have been enjoying them. So, what else I did enjoy about the new Spider-Man film is I thought the soundtrack was really good, um, nice modern, um, kind of got went with the theme of it. I really did enjoy it. I thought the locations were fantastic. I mean, I've never been to um, New York and other places where they filmed the films, um, but this, the locations just look really lovely. They really do. Um, hopefully one day I'll go and visit, but you never know. Um, so yeah, that I think I really enjoyed watching uh, the film. There isn't anything I can approve on, I would say. Um, I thought the whole special effects thing has incredible. Every time I watch a Marvel film, um, the whole company, what they what they do with the special effects is just amazing. Really, they always put on a fantastic, you know, a really great film. Um, <laughs> I did stay behind. There was one funny thing right at the end. Right at the end of a Marvel film, you always have to stay behind with the credits. As usual. So my family and I, we did it, um, but we hadn't realised that because um, there was a lot of people waiting for the credits and by the end of the credits, and then 
what happened was, um, this is kind of spoilers if you've not seen it, but I'll tell you a little bit. So Chris Evans says um, some things and then you realise it's actually a joke. Um, so it kind of was like, ooh, okay, because I thought there was going to be like sort of like a next little clip of the uh, next film, but all it said was Spider-Man will return. So, spoilers! Yay, it's coming back for another one. Of course it will. Um, it is such a brilliant film and honestly I just want to say a huge thank you, like a huge well done, sorry, <laughs> a huge well done to the cast and the crew because I think they all just did a really good job and I cannot wait to see what they, um, what more things they could bring. Um, I thought the villains, I thought the villains in this film was actually really good. Uh, Michael Keaton, he did a brilliant job, he did really really good. Um, I liked his character, I thought um, what his, um, sort of what his weapon or what his sort of costume was, that was really really good. Um, the whole special effects and everything was just brilliant. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed his character. It was good because it also related to, um, he had like a, a, um, a daughter in the, f so his character had a daughter in the film as well, sorry spoilers, but yeah, um, but I really liked that, um, because it was about protecting his family, he wanted to do things to protect his family, um, but yeah, unfortunately that didn't go down so well, so, sorry. But no, I really did enjoy it. I think if I could, you know, if I could say this to everyone, I think if you have really enjoyed all the Marvel films, I think this film, honestly, I think people really, really, really should go and see this film. Because I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I think everyone else will. So, yeah, I'm so sorry this didn't, vlog sort of didn't turn out as well. Um, I'm still learning the whole, you know, the film reviews, the vlogging. My words do stumble a lot, but that is because I've got autism anyway, um, and it's something that I do need to get used to doing, but I can't help it at times. But no, just I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who has supported me on my channel, who has, watching my, who has watched my videos. I really, really hope that um, my dream will come true into becoming, like, into becoming a presenter. Um, because that's where I really want to be. I'm not sure if that will happen, but I hope it will. Because I just love doing this, and you know, I love talking to people. I love watching um, the BAFTAs and lots of television shows um, and awards. And I mean, people have always said, you know, you'd be really good as a children's TV presenter, and I would. Um, but also interviewing is where I really want to be, even if it's for celebrities or for um, children or for part of Disney, anything like that, I think it will be perfect for me. Um, but you just got to work hard, you work hard, you, you know, and then hopefully you can just reach your dream. Um, but it's only if you can work hard, <laughs> and that's what I've been doing. So yes, I've been working hard. And i just got to try and push myself to the limit and hopefully I'll get to where I really want to be. So thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Comment down below what is your favourite um, part of the film. If you've already seen it, what's your favourite character? Um, and also what your opinions are for the next one. Like, you know, what do you think will happen? Because I think there should be a bit more of a romance scene. I really think there should be, because I always love a romance scene. I mean, who wouldn't? But yeah, <laughs> I think, um, yeah, I think just, please just go and watch this film if you have not. Um, yeah, so comment down below what your favourite part of the film is. Subscribe to my channel as usual, and I'll see you guys real soon. So thank you so much for watching. Bye!